Hi everybody, uh, just wanted to touch bases with you uh, since we can't do it physically together. Mm. We wanted to come together and we're coming to you from our house and uh, this is something new for us, but we just wanted to make sure that we're communicating with you, Yes. that we're um, staying in touch mm. and this is one way that we can do it through technology, right. which I'm grateful for. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we just wanted to share this with you. Last week, I was reading my devotional and I um, was reading the Bible and I've been reading out of Isaiah mm. and I felt like the story of King Hezekiah mm. when he faces the threat of the Assyrian um, king and the Assyrian army was just kind of something we were facing right now. We're yeah. facing a threat in our nation. We're facing a threat to us as individuals and our families right. and, and our church, CWC Life, and all the other churches. And so one of the things um, that happened was this threat comes to the king of Israel, a uh, king of Judah, um, of Jerusalem, uh, King um, Hezekiah. And um, this threat of the taking over, the besieging of mm. Jerusalem um, comes to him. And so... Uh, the king of Assyria sends a messenger and his messengers and says, you know, I'm going to take you guys out. I'm mm -hmm. going to totally capture Jerusalem. I'm going to, I'm going to destroy you guys. Mm. And, um, and so, um, so what does Hezekiah do? You know, his messengers come to him and he says, go talk to the prophet Isaiah, mm. go, go before the Mount of God. And because he wanted to know, God's mind. He yes. wanted to know what God was saying. Right. And so sometimes we're hearing a lot of news. We're hearing a mm. lot of things um, coming to us. Um, but as the people of God, we are able to go to this, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We're able to That's go right. to God himself and yes. hear what God is saying to us. Amen. And um, part of that threat that was coming to him, I'm reading out of Isaiah 37. And he, he says to go, he tells his messengers to go and talk to the prophet Isaiah. And one thing that just really stood out to me um, is this verse in, in um, Isaiah chapter 37, um, verse 3. And it says, um, he's, telling, he's telling his messengers, go tell this to Isaiah. And um, they told him, this is what King Hezekiah says. Today is a day of trouble, insults, and disgrace. It is like when a child is ready to be mm -hmm. born, but the mother has no strength to deliver the baby. And, and it, that just really stood out to me because, you know, being um, someone who's actually given birth, mm. and we have three children, uh, at that time, when when you're after hours of labor and you they say, okay, it's time to push, mm. it's like, I can't push. Mm. Like, like, I have no strength left in me. Right. And that's what fear and panic does. Mm. It wants to take away our strength. It That's wants right. to yes. render us helpless. Mm -hmm. And um, this is what they were facing mm -hmm. back then, and we can apply it to today. And so they go and um, they talk to the prophet Isaiah, and then another threat comes, mm -hmm. even worse, from the king himself. And then what does is, what is King Hezekiah do? He goes to the temple of God, and he lays the threat out before the Lord. The Lord. And he says, Lord, you know, this threat is a real threat. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to believe in your power. I'm going to believe in what you say. Right. And then he gets the message from the prophet Isaiah that mm. just says, don't worry about this threat. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to take care of your enemy. And, and it ends up in, in the Lord sending his angel. And 185,000 Assyrians were killed by one angel. One angel, right. So I just want to encourage you, family. Um, I want to encourage us to say that, yeah, prepare, mm -hmm. you know, do those logical things, mm -hmm, those mm -hmm. prudent, wise things. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, don't panic. Yes. Know that our God can turn this around. Yes. And that's what I've been praying for. I've really been praying that this threat that has come to us, um, I know that there is a higher authority. Mm. I know there is a higher power. I, I see the blood of Jesus mm. over the flag of the United States as mm. I pray. And I believe that the Amen. blood of Jesus is going to turn this around. Yes. And what they're predicting to mm -hmm. be will not be. Mm -hmm. And I'm believing and praying for that. Amen. Yeah. I agree. And I believe that what we learned through this passage is that the devil's intimidation 
is always to be responded by God's people intercession. Mm -hmm. Prayer mm -hmm. matters, especially when we're in a battle yeah. because God is greater. And when we implore from God his help and we start exercising intercession in the face of the devil's intimidation, then we will experience God coming and exercising interception as well as intervention. Mm -hmm. So I want to encourage you today because some of you are being challenged. You're being challenged. You're getting letters that are threatening mm -hmm. in the mail saying you're gonna, you've been laid off or mm -hmm. you, you, yeah. you're going to have to pay this or that. But call on the Lord because yes. God is faithful to yes. intercept as well as to intervene. And whatever the enemy has meant for evil, God can turn it around yes. for good. Yes. And what we learned through that passage, as my wife shared, is that God did send help from heaven. And one angel was able to wipe out 185,000 yes. of the army that came against God's people. And that just goes to show that God is truly looking out for you and I. So be encouraged today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, we love you. Yes. Um, hope hope everybody's getting toilet paper out there <laughs> and stocking up. Yes. But uh, more than that, um, we just want to say that God is still God. Amen. And we put all our trust in Him. Yeah, we and do. it's right to do so mm -hmm. because He's never failed us. That's and right. We've, we've lived that and we know that as mm. the people of God. Amen. So we want to say we love you. Love you. Um, continue um, to hold fast. Mm -hmm. And I hope you have just an awesome evening. And we'll see you Sunday. Yes. Um, they'll be uh, doing a live service. And it will be at 10.30, so stay tuned on YouTube yes. and on um, our Facebook um, CWC page. Amen. Love you. See you. God bless Bye. you all.